know, I was doing pretty good until that sniper picked me off. What's up, guys? Beast Armada here, bringing you some Black Ops 2 gameplay. I'm going to be using the 556. I think it is the uh, SWAT 556. And uh, it, it's a beast. You know, I don't know if you've seen this gameplay before because I did stream Black Ops 2 quite some time back. It, you know, definitely wasn't the best stream quality and stuff, you know, like I said, but that's just because of my limitations to my computer. My computer's not the best, so the stream was kind of choppy. But I went back and got it in theater, so I went back and re-recorded it. Uh, you know, a while back, and I get took out by the 870. Sorry, 870, dude. I think he killed me uh, once or twice this game. Actually, he kills me once, and that's the only time he kills me in this game. And uh, that's pretty much going to be the last of that for a long time. You guys are going to see me going to get a little tear there. I'm not going to let you guys see the score because I don't want to spoil it. I figured you guys would enjoy this gameplay, it's a little bit new. And uh, speaking of gameplay, I hope you guys enjoyed that Model for 2 gameplay that I uploaded yesterday. Or whenever you did it, you know, whenever uh, you of course saw it. But I uploaded uh, the previous video, was Model for 2 gameplay. It was a team death match, and that was uh, like my 6th or 7th match of the day. I don't really play Grand War much in Model for 2 anymore, just because, uh, you know, obviously the community is uh, pretty rough on it, man. They're pretty brutal. Uh, you know, they, they're not kind of my face with the bullets and the noob tubes and all that stuff. And uh, it, it's a lot more, uh, you know, I guess ridiculous than Ground War. You see the grenade launchers and one-man army and all the, you know, terrible exploits of my offer to a lot more common in Ground War. I don't know what it is. And uh, there's also less people in Ground War. So, you know, the connections aren't the best and it's a lot uh, better in Team Deathmatch. You have a better chance of getting in a lobby where your uh, connection is much easier on you. And, you know, you'll have hosts or whatever. You'll have a host that's, uh, you know, most likely closer to you. But that's that. But with this gameplay, I'm using Wally, I think the Orbital VSAT, and the Scout uh, helicopter, which very good, uh, very good setup. It's a beast setup. It's actually, uh, uh, you know, recommended setup by Sandy Ravage back when uh, he was in his prime in Black Ops 2. Like whenever uh, Black Ops 2 was in its prime and he uploaded it, he said, "Try this setup." And uh, I did a while back, and uh, it's a beast, man. It definitely puts in work. I know a lot of people say Wally's uh, pretty bad. But uh, sometimes if people don't throw EMP grenades or blow them up, he can uh, go on a tear, and you'll definitely see that in this gameplay. But speaking of Black Ops 2, I know uh, you guys have probably heard about this, especially if you uh, watch any Call of Duty commentators besides myself. You've heard about it, but uh, I decided to talk about it as well and give my opinions on it. I heard they're coming out with some DLC, whether that's map packs or gun camos. I think it's just gun camos and maybe some other things here and there. I don't know if it's kill streaks or whatever. But I actually heard that they are coming out with DLC for Black Ops 2, and I want to give my opinions on it. So, so that pretty much explains a few things. So Ghost obviously isn't as successful as uh, I guess they predicted it would be. Now, I don't know if these developers and uh, Activision think that people are just going to buy crap, uh, you know, because they're like, well, they've bought the past few games with low effort, you know, so they'll probably buy Ghost and buy all of its DLC, etc. That's not the case, obviously. Uh, Ghost is probably... Well, surprisingly, it's not the least favorite Call of Duty from what a lot of people were voting. A lot of people voted MW3 to be the worst. Now, that game had a bunch of problems, but my goodness, how is Ghost any better? I mean, honestly, I'm not dissing Ghost by any means, but that game is a mess. It's uh, it's extremely boring, and they, they really tried a bunch of cheap tactics. They tried to make the default maps way too big, very unplayable for what Call of Duty standards will hold up to. And they thought they'd be sneaky and pull the wool over your eyes with uh, trying to get you to buy the DLC and say, hey, we got some really fun new maps and they're, uh, they're close quarters like you like in Call of Duty, like it's supposed to be, instead of these oversized maps. Now, I play on the older console, so as you guys know, there's no uh, Ground War, at least in Call of Duty Ghost, which was another uh, cheap tactic that they tried to use to get you to like the maps even less because the maps were based all around Ground War. Even You could play 12 v 12 on those maps and it probably still seemed pretty big. It's ridiculous. I'm going to come out with DLC with uh, moderate to even small size maps. So that just goes to show out there that uh, the little trick didn't work. And I'm glad it didn't work because that's what they get. They don't need to be trying to trick people and trying to uh, get cheap money without any effort. If you want to get money, you have to work for it in this society. Uh, that's how it works. At least uh, for the majority of the time. You know, most of the people that actually put effort into something, they actually get, you know, whatever they put in back out. You know, that's their output. Whatever they put in, they'll get out and receive. Uh, you know substantially so you know like I said high effort equals high reward low effort equals low reward and I'm glad that they're finally finding that the founding finding whatever that's not a word I'm glad they're finally finding that out you know they need to understand that look we deserve a really good game because we've been supporting the series for so many years 
at least myself, I've been supporting it since Call of Duty Finest Hour, which was one of the first that came out on the console, I believe. It was Call of Duty 1 on the console, I'm pretty sure. It came out around 2001 or 2. And uh, I've been supporting the series ever since then, and I've been playing online since I Call of Duty 4, because that was when I really got into the series. So I've been supporting the series for a long time, as much as many other players. And even if you jumped in late, you've still been supporting the series for most likely a long time. And we deserve a good game, honestly. We deserve a good game. We give them hard-earned money. Whether it's uh, your parents' birthday money that they give you or whatever. It's the point is, they're getting our money. And we deserve a good product in return. That's just how it works. And I'm glad that they are finding out that we're not accepting garbage. That's, that's how it works. You don't give us garbage. We don't accept garbage. Even as dumb as you may think some of us are. Not all of us are incompetent and stupid as you think we are. We will not play garbage. Uh, you know, honestly, Ghost, I will admit this. As far as function goes, it's a little bit more functioning than Black Ops 2, but it's so much more boring. There's not fun aspects of the game. The guns just don't feel fun. The maps aren't fun. They're way too big. You guys have heard this. I'm beating a dead horse at this point. I'm not here to complain. I'm just honestly giving you guys straight factual evidence that... uh. This is not what we want. You know this. Call of Duty is a fast arcade shooter. That's what it's intended to be. It's based off of Quake. As a matter of fact, it's using the Quake engine as you guys have heard me talk about. Most of you probably already know this. Uh, Quake was a very arcadey shooter where it was based on high paced action. I think it was only on PC exclusive. I'm not exactly for sure. I'm probably wrong about that, but it was a high action game. And this game was somewhat based upon that. And it seems like it's got a little bit of aspects of Counter-Strike as well. But it's supposed to be a fast arcade shooter. There's not supposed to be too many realistic elements as opposed to like Arma 3 or even Battlefield. And those games aren't even the you know most 100% realistic. They're not supposed to be. You know, video games aren't supposed to be realistic. The main goal of a video game is supposed to be fun. And you guys know that. And that's exactly what we want. We want a game that we can play that's fun and enjoyable. That we will want, you know, want to continue and purchase content to expand the horizons of that game. And the playability of that game. And the replayability of that game. But I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary and my thoughts about the DLC on uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. You guys, of course, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.